Hello guys. I wanted to come and talk to you guys today. And I got a couple of things I want to say to Big CC. But first, um, I just want to say hello and thank you to my subscribers and supporters. So, um, I was listening to a Big CC video. And I was listening to the words like I'm always paying attention. And she was talking about Roz calling her son a hero for taking a man's life. Now, Cece, I hear a lot of people on your platform telling you how wise a woman you are. Saying you are a wise woman and you be like, thank you. But some of the things come out your mouth... It's not of a wise woman. It's very ignorant with the things that you say. And I'm saying this because to be in the situation that Ra's son was in, to see your brother killed, shot in front of you, And if you don't have a weapon or some way to retaliate, the feeling of helplessness is overwhelming. It would haunt him more knowing that he saw it happen and was nothing that he could do about it. Now, you like to take a lot of things, CC, out of content to fit your narrative. And that's not right. That's not right. And you know what you're going through. But let me tell you like this. If I was with any one of my children and the same situation arrived where someone took the life of one of mine, I'll be spending the rest of my days behind bars. If I had a weapon to retaliate, I would have did exactly the same thing Ross son did. God have mercy on my soul. I can say that. And there's so many people in the world that feel exactly that way. I don't know whether they're brave enough to say it. But it's no way in reality that you can say that you had a gun and, so, and you had your daughter with you. And somebody walked up to your door and, and, and blowed her brains out right in front of you. And you holding a gun in your hand that you wouldn't open fire on that person. It's no way you can say that. Because that is not a human emotion, a response, a reaction, a reflect. That's just not, that's just not it. That's not the way we were at as human. Everybody will have that same reaction. And by all means, you must have known that that young man had to be traumatized to see something like that. So, miss me with that. Stop doing that, CC. Stop, stop deterring people and saying the wrong things because that's not right. That's not right. Any person, any human, if they saw their loved one being killed, they would react in the same fashion. Secondly, CC, let it go about the bait sale, okay? There you pulling at the people hard screen again. I don't know why you do that. It's not necessary. You have had a overwhelming pour out of love and support for you and your situation. And you still sitting there pulling on people hard screen talking about if I gotta get out there and do a bait sale me and my daughter we will CC you know you're going live right your cash app has been ringing for the past two days non-stop now I've been around for a minute and when Coco needed a, an attorney those people Provided a uh, attorney for Coco within a day. 
he had the money for an attorney. I know by now you have the money for an attorney or the down payment or you got two attorneys, lawyers in your family. They'll be happy to take that money, even if it's just a down payment. Okay? Stop doing people like that, CC. That's what I'm saying. I'm different. I'm so different from you guys because I have a conscience. I have a conscience. And I also want to say to you, CC, you're older than me. I'll let you know that. You in your late 60s. I'm in my early 60s, okay? I'm, I'm not trying to be facetious, and I'm not trying to do a debate with you or none of that. So I don't want to hear about that. Well, you look old. I don't care about that. I'm talking to you woman to woman. Now, as I got older and I become an a elder woman, my mindset changed. As I grew older, I wanted to know the Lord better. I start seeking to know my maker and to get closer to God. Now you're older than me, but I don't see the God in you. I don't see the God in you. When you every day attack Ross, I don't see the God in you. When I came for you, to make you my commentate, my com, my commissary, my commentary. When I came to make you my commentary, the Holy Spirit took hold of me and said, "Stop! Don't do it." Now, if you serve the same God that I serve, the Holy Spirit should be riding you and convicting you and telling you to stop. You're older than me. I'm trying to figure this thing out. I thought all older people, as we get older, we want to get closer to God. That may, that's just me. That's what I thought. So late, my late 40s, early 50s, I start chasing God. And when I start chasing God, I no longer wanted to do the things I did when I was in my 20s, 30s, and 40s. God removed those things from me. As he increased in me, I decrease. I'm looking at you, ma'am. I can see you. I don't see God. Don't take advantage of people that's trying so hard to help you. Because people will help you when they see you are hurting or you need help. Because we have a lot of loving people in the world that love helping people. Nobody want to see anybody suffer. But the same problem Coco had, he had the spirit of greed on him. And that's why he lost it all. Now I see you, Cece. I called it out with Coco. I said he had the spirit of greed. You have two or three spirits on you. But you do have one of those spirits of greed on you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And you make a big deal out of Ross saying she got three, four uh, different accounts. So do I. No brag. So do I. Every time people say things to you, see, see, you take it out of content and you should not do that. You had somebody in your chat today said, Big CC, why don't you get out the house? Oh, I don't need to get out the house. I got everything I need right here. That's not what they were saying, honey. They were telling you to go breathe some fresh air. Go walk. Relieve some stress. Go let the sun shine on you. Sun is a good source of vitamin D. They was trying to encourage you to get out the house. Go sit on the porch. And you turn that thing all the way around to fit your, fit your narrative. And when you start talking, you sound just like my brother when I'm trying to get him to do something. I know did everything I want to do. That don't even sound right. When you say, I don't want to do anything. I don't did everything I want to do. I don't did all. I don't have my fun. To me, it sounds like you throwing in the, you throwing in the, uh, 
the flag. You throwing in the, you saying, that's it. Lord, take me now. I'm done. That's what that sound like from when my ears receive a person saying, I know did everything I want to do. No, you need to take a break. Okay. And then you on social media every day. Here's another tip. You telling everybody to leave you alone and move on down the road and all of this stuff. See, see, they're never going to leave you alone as long as you're appearing on social media every day. When you really want people to leave you alone, you get off social media for a while. you miss two or three days. Okay? Out of sight, out of mind. So stop saying leave you alone because you don't want to be left alone. You don't want to be left alone. Can we just start telling the truth woman to woman? Woman to woman, you are acting just like all of these other people that's being very deceiving. You're being very deceiving and deceptive in your ways. I don't know what your motive, but I guarantee you, you have a motive. You have a motive. You are feeding off your husband tragedy. And it's wrong. It's wrong to do that. We're so different. We're so different. I don't see the God in you. And I don't know why so many people are brainwashed by you. And they really think you're bringing the word. And you're not. You're not. You're not, and it's sad to watch. Very sad to watch. <laughs>